Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So I found out some bad news about my age. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the very discouraging information I found out about my age. And also I wanted to start this video with the announcement that on June 8th, I did relaunch my NicoleBeauty.com website. This has been a year in the making. I was so involved. I wanted it to be everything you wanted it to be because I've listened to you over the years about all the things that you didn't like about the website, how hard it was, how the payment gateways, everything you've said, I have addressed and it's a seamless checkout. It's a great experience. The pictures are beautiful of the new products. I went back in and gave you color detail because a lot of you had requested that. So I really love your feedback on the new website. I did have one of our customers say on mobile that we didn't have like the little shopping cart. Great feedback because everybody missed that. So we added that to it. So if there's anything that you see, please email us and let us know because this is this site's for you. And I worked just so hard because I wanted it to be a beautiful, you know site. I wanted it to be exciting and to be really just easy for you to, to navigate. It's just not a website for me though, because something happened to me in 2020 and I did a video on it. I'm not going to get into it here because I don't want it to take up our time together, but I did have somebody try to take my business from me and pose as me and then went after all of my customers and confused the marketplace. And it was just really like, whoa, okay. I stepped up to the plate, that ball was pitched and I knocked it out of the park. And that's what I've been doing for the last three years. And that's why I have done this, right? Cause that will never happen again. So I have dedicated myself. I'm an artist. I've always been an artist. 96, I became a professional artist. 2000, I became a licensed esthetician. I work with women. I love makeup and beauty and I have dedicated myself, my life. I've been on YouTube for 13 years. I mean, this is, I've had my company for 14 years. So at Nicole Beauty, there is so much passion and so much energy and just deliberate, intentional moves that I make to have you feel incredible, to have women in their seventies that have thought, you know what, what's the point? Like, I don't feel good about myself. I'm just going to, you know, what have you, I want those women to get back in the game and feel incredible. And it's possible. That's why I have my fierce aging series. I have you, the woman, yes, you that's sitting on your couch. I have you come in and I do your makeup and you share your beauty with my audience, with the world, with what you've been through, with who you are, how you're dealing with aging, how you're dealing with your experiences. That's interesting. That's what Nicole Beauty is all about. No one will ever take that away from me. No one will ever be an artist like me. Everybody's individual. Everybody has their own talents. So it's really important to me. My com I'm not just a content creator here on YouTube. I'm not just like, oh, I just make a little bit of product or what have you. I have been doing this for a very long time. This is nothing new, nothing new. And I am just, just so passionate about how women feel and what they put out to the world. And can I change that? Can I help that? Can I make them feel better about themselves? And that's what I do. That's what I do. This is 13 years on YouTube. This is a grind. This is showing up. This is hard work. Someone that comes in and thinks they can take that away because they basically copied doesn't work like that. So it's more than a website to me. My product is more than just product. It's more than just an eye pencil a lip pencil, what have you. This is what I have created for women like you that want to feel better, that want to get back out in the dating scene, that want to, to enhance their life. And it might sound silly. Oh, Nicole, really like with lipstick and what have you. Yes. Cause that's how you're presenting yourself to you, not just the world. It's how you're presenting yourself to yourself in the mirror. It starts with you. It starts with what your reflection back. Do you like it? Do you like what you see? Do you say positive things to yourself? That's what I want to know. And that's what I stand for. And that's what NicoleBeauty.com stands for. That's why I'm here. And that's why we talk about like all the negativity to women over 50 and you know, it's downhill from here and all my research and everything. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the fact that I read that 47, which is my age, and everybody thinks that I don't say my age. My age is all over Google. You can Google me and you can find my age. I talk about it all the time here. Here's me just doing a little research and it says, and I've never heard about this happiness you. If you've, if you've heard about this kind of terminology, would love to know in the comments below because I've never heard of it. It says, it's been scientifically proven that we're happiest at the beginnings and at the ends of our lives. At least that was positive for me because I was like, oh, at the end of my life, I'm gonna be very happy. <laughs> Great. So it says, with a big dip in the middle, like the letter U, the U curve of happiness. I've never heard of that before. I might be obviously living under a rock, but I have read so many self-help books since high school that I don't 
ever remember coming across this. It says research shows that 47 is our unhappiest age. I'm like, how is this possible? I'm like, my I'm 47. Like, this is my this is my most unhappiest year. Meanwhile, I'm coming out with like all my products. Like, I mean, granted, it has been very draining. And I have been very unhappy with like logistics and all the this, this stuff that goes in with being a business owner and, and learning new things. But I was like, wait a second. So then it says, I'm in the depths of my midlife. So then it kind of made sense because every time like when I get like dramatic or whatever, my husband's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, it's my perimenopause. Sorry, I can't really control my emotions right now. So now it's like, um, I'm in the U curve. I'm at the depths of, <laughs> I'm in the depths of despair of my midlife crisis, my midlife issue. So now I can blame something else. I have two things, perimenopause and the you. I'll just be like, I'm in the you. That's what I'm going to say. So it says, if you've been feeling down in midlife, the U curve of happiness is there to pull you back up. So now I'm back up on the high. I'm like, this article is very like highs and lows. It's, it's, re it's really triggering. So my U curve is, is here to bring me back up and pull me forward. Things will, for the most of us, get better. I was like, well, wait a second. Why didn't you include everyone? Why did you just say, for most of us? I mean, am I included in that? So I just was trying to find humor in this like whole article. So they just said that the happiness, you know, the stakes, the, the, you get happier as life. Life goes on, you know, if you feel like the, the middle can get simply just depressing, or you might have all of these different feelings, it's very natural and normal. So I was like, Oh, I was like, okay, you know, that's wonderful. Like you just picked me up after telling me that I'm in the worst year <laughs> of my life statistically at 47. So then I was talking about how men, you know, is it's like the worst that, you know, we have an expiration date when, when it comes to our eggs and ovaries and everything But men can literally procreate until they die. So it was talking about the injustice of men basically having babies until <laughs> forever. And, you know, just thinking about men and how they age and no one's so on top of them about it. It's just such an interesting culture just in the world, right? This is everywhere. So you have, you know, Larry and Bob, maybe Bob decided to go bald. That's his deal. And then Larry, you know, full gray hair, gray, he's a silver fox. Like no one, no one says anything about them. They can have their wrinkles and enjoy it. And look, you know, really distinguished and sexy and rugged, but women can't. So, you know, it's, it's putting it in perspective, ladies. It's about what you think about your beauty and how you present yourself and not listening to society. Because look how unjust that is or unbalanced that is with men and women, both aging, both having the same thing, gray hair, wrinkles, whatever. But men, it's like, well, it's, ama it's amazing. Put them up here. Women, well, oh, what are you doing? You're letting yourself go. I mean, come on. So that was a part of the article that was really, we, we know, but it was interesting. But the best part was, I'm going to tell you about the whale story. It was just, I just was like really fascinated about, this woman wrote a book too. Her book's called Magnificent Midlife, Transform Your Middle Years, Menopause and Beyond. I think it's worth a read. I think she has some really strong points here. And she talks about, it's important to be more whale. I was like, articles like all over the place. It says, one of my favorite things I've learned about menopause is that there are two creatures on this planet who go through menopause, human females and whales. When whales go through menopause at about the same age as us, they then go on sometimes for another 50 years to become the leaders of their pods. Theirs is a truly matriarchal society. So I'm going to read you coming off the whale story, a little excerpt from her book where she said that she went through early menopause at 41, which at the time was devastating. But now in her mid fifties, I see menopause as a gift. I like to say that the end of my fertility has become the most fertile time of my life. Menopause allowed me to take stock of what was working and what no longer served me in my life and to make changes accordingly. I was able to reevaluate how I was living and start taking much better care of my health. I'm doing things post menopause that I never would have dreamt of before. In many cultures around the world, women get more status, the older they get, not less. I'd like that to be the case for women everywhere in the world. The world needs our wisdom and experience. So I just thought that this was a really good Monday takeaway of, you know, life is getting better. Like, oh, like over the whole menopause hump, you know, you're growing, you're evolving, your beauty's evolving, your, your body's evolving into the better. It's not all negative, right? So you, you could, you can look at things in two different ways. You can look at 47 in this article and be like, this is my most unhappiest year. Or I can say, this is my most challenging year, but I'm actually really happy through this because I have made strides and I'm doing what I want to do. And yes, it's hard. And yes, it might not be always so comfortable, what have you, but I'm going to reframe that. I'm going to take this and, and, be, and have some humor with it. And I think that's the, the most important thing is to have humor with your age, whether it's gray hair, whether it's, you know, menopause or what have you have some humor. It 
really lightens things up. And I hope you enjoy my new website. I hope you enjoy, you're enjoying the new products and I would love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think about age below this video. Like maybe you want to tap on the men versus women aging part of it, or maybe the whale. And the fact is it just gets so much better. And you know, you become, you know, more powerful as a woman as we're aging. I think that's a really great way to look at it. So until my next video, I'll see you later.